Hey there! Now that you're familiar with controlling items along the main axis using techniques like justify content, margins, and flex properties, it's time to delve into aligning content along the cross axis, which in our case runs from top to the bottom. By default, items stretch themselves across this cross axis. To make this behavior more evident, let's set the container's height to 100%. As you can see, the items now stretch from top to the bottom, regardless of the container's height. A quick note here, the height 100% works because we've also set the height of both the HTML and the body element to 100%. Without this setup, set the container's height to 100% wouldn't have any effect at all. Now, by default, align items is set to stretch, controlling items along the cross axis. If we change it to flex start, you'll notice items are pushed to the top of the cross axis. They occupy only the necessary space in height to display their content. Similarly, flex end pushes them down to the end of the axis, and of course, center centers them. A useful Side note, Flexbox is excellent for centering items inside a container. For example, if we had just one item, such as a button with a X inside of it, we could easily center it with the container, use a combination of align items and justify content set center. Now, let's revert the changes and focus on aligning single items at a time. If we touch the logout item, for instance, we can use Align Self to modify its alignment. Setting it to Flex Start, for example, will push on the, that item to the top of the cross axis. Your task now is to position the home item at the very bottom. Feel free to pause the video, work on it in the code, and once you are done, return to see how I would approach it. Welcome back! Let's see how I tackle this task. First, I will pack the home item and apply Align Self to it. I will set it to Flex End, make sure it aligns with the bottom end of the cross axis. Now we have this unique layout, creating a sort of diagonal division that also adjusts responsibly in a very weird and unusual manner. While I cannot imagine why you'd want a layout like this one, you've at least learned how to achieve it using Align Self and Align Items. And that's our wrap for this lecture. I'll catch you in the next one.